Right, that's been it. I'm going to e the morning show. Thank you very much for choosing to stay with us. Now, Okpasha Kopasha is simply explained as a way of communicating with one's ancestors. However, there are many questions as to how to go about doing it. Why do you need to do it? When is another question. Where and what do you need? Oma Opatla. Well, to answer all these questions and more, as usual, from Om Samo Institute, we're joined by Usiabonga Kize. Welcome to the morning show. As thank usual, you thank you very much for having us. And today we're speaking about something that is very relatable with, yeah. a, with a lot of people. And there are a lot of questions that we ask. But I think we must start right at the beginning. Go in, So, Okpasha is a way. Okpasha or Teta Nabapans or Kuluma Nabapans is a way of communicating with your ancestors, which anybody and everybody can do regardless of their level or rank within the family. Okay. And you can also, it's not location specific. And on top of that, um, the resources that you need to get it done can be found pretty much worldwide. You don't necessarily have to be in Africa yeah. to get the, the elements that you need. Yeah. Mm. So Okpasha is something we should do very regularly. When you have, so the, when you have dreams, always record your dreams. Because remember what I said about dreams? Dreams are kind of like trailers mm. to a series of movies yeah. in your life. The only thing is you don't know which trailers for which movie and you don't know in what order are the movies. Mm. So in order to figure that out, you need to record your dreams down in a dream book and then you need to, when you speak to your ancestors and communicate with them, you need to tell them to give you clarity mm. on what you have seen so that it's specific. You can't be general yeah. um, or vague in umpashawak or in, in your communication. You need to specifically say, okay, that white goat that you showed me, who is it for mm. and why am I doing it? Yeah. Hopefully we'll get you back to speak about dreams in depth because there are people, probably someone now who's watching and they're saying, well, I usually forget my dreams. Mm. So what happens in that instance where you, you know you dreamt of something, probably something significant, mm. but you do not remember your dreams? You see, we have a bad habit as people that we don't record our dreams. Mm. So this, this is my dream book here, the, the one I've brought. Yeah. That's my dream book that I use to record all my dreams. So the reason is because apart from it being a spiritual issue, also scientifically, human beings are very bad at remembering their dreams. Mm. So as soon as you have a dream, you should wake up and write it down. Even if it's only two, even if it's only two sentences, you've yeah. got to record something so that in the morning when you wake up, those two or three sentences trigger you. Mm. So that that night after umpacho, you have something to work with. Because yeah. umpacho happens over a couple of days and you need to have you need to have something that's it's a journey that you're starting with step one mm -hmm. then you go to day two you go to day three but with each day as Abadala are showing you more and more yeah. you are saying to them okay thank you for showing me this what does this mean and then they show you a little bit more because they need to also know that you are listening to them okay does All it right. make sense yes yeah totally what do I need because with different colors mm. that, that's, that's there for either to purify or you know to send the signal, whatever mm. the reason is. We'll, we'll speak about the significance, but what do I need umang Okay. So the thing is, all you need for, first of all, Pasha can be done anywhere, yeah. whether you're in Kashwen, whether you're in renting or at your own home. Even if you're staying at a hotel, you can do that. Even if it's just a BNB and b okay. and you're traveling for work, you can do it. So the, the resources that how we do it is that you can find these anywhere, wherever you are in the world. Even if you're not in Africa, mm -hmm. it's just an enamel dish, right? Um, candle holders, please use proper candle holders don't just drip the wax on the floor and then, and then put it down because it then there. it's going to topple over and you're going to burn your house so yeah. use proper candle holders and two white candles mm -hmm. okay so in the middle we just don't have any but in the middle you'd put water in you can use um amanzolo and just sea water yeah. or you can just use normal tap water right. it doesn't have or holy water it doesn't have there's no special requirement with the water okay and then you'll light your candles left and right mm -hmm. okay so the left represents your mother's side of the family and the right represents your father's side i'm speaking from my point of view mm -hmm. okay 
If there's no problem and everything is fine, then because there was oxygen in the room, the candle should burn. So if there's no problem on my mother's side of the family, the candle will burn down perfectly fine. If there is no problem on my father's side of the family, the candle will burn perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. In the event that, so after lighting the candles and you've called upon your ancestors and you've spoken what is in your heart and what you need clarity on, and you must emphasize that, can you please make the answer as clear as the water in this bowl? Okay. If the right side burns down, and the left remains standing, that means the issue is not on my father's side of the family because it's burned completely, which, mm -hmm. is, which it should, but it is in the, my mother's side of the family. Okay. If the left burns, but the right remains, that means the issue is on my father's side of the family. In the event that they are both standing and they both haven't burnt, mm. then you're facing an identity crisis because that means it's like, we don't know where the problem sits because we don't know what side you're actually sitting on. So usually those people are facing a bit of a surname issue, mm. a lineage issue. Okay. Um, but if this one completely, say this one completely burns, right? Mm -hmm. And this one burns to just about halfway. Okay. That means mother's side of the family is fine, but there's a small issue that needs to be attended to on your father's side yeah. of the family. And it's not that big of an issue. But if you have it like this, that means mother's side of the family is fine, but there is a big issue that you need to deal with on your father's mm. side of the family. Mm. How long am I giving this? Is this all on day one? Yeah. Okay. So these candles usually come in a packet of six. Yeah. So once you, so you're lighting two on the first day, mm -hmm. you have your water, upal. Usually most people will wake up with a dream at about maybe two, three hours later, mm -hmm. what you see, you put it down in your dream book. Okay. It's important that you put it down, whatever it is, even if it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Even if it's, you know, a pig flying and what, it doesn't matter, just put it down. Mm. And then what you will do with this water in the morning, have your usual shower and everything, then in your, in your basin, just pour this water into the basin, take your cloth and just dab your body a little bit um. and also communicate with your answers saying, thank you for showing me what you've shown me. Yeah. I understand. Um, now what, what I need to do. Mm -hmm. In the evening that night, again, you go back to the dream book, you'll light the candles again, you'll say thank you to your ancestors for getting back to you with the message. Okay. Maybe they've shown you um, Ubuntu Mtala that was coming to you, but you couldn't really see their face. Mm. Maybe you can see, we'll see, it's an old woman or an old man. Then you're saying, okay, please can I get better clarity? I'd like to know who it is that has, that has come to me. Please show your face to me or tell me what I need to do for me in order for me to see. Mm. Help me see what I can't see. Do you yeah. see that? That's on the second day. Yeah. Then on the second day, maybe, and then on the second night, maybe I'll have a different dream where now you can see their face. Yeah. But now you so need a name. Another revelation. Then on the third day, now you're asking for a name. Okay. Do you see? So it's as you're going on, and the then you're phases. recording all of this. Mm -hmm. So as you're going on, you know, okay, Kune Salawazi, there's an old woman by the name of Sbanbani who needs something. Yeah. You see? So that. By that, so when you go Yangin or you're going to a spiritual healer to consult, you must go with this. Okay. Because Inyang is going to tell you what you know. Um, you need to do A, B, C, D yeah. for Ukok. And you're like, how? No, 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 no. I mean, I saw Ike. Mm -hmm. okay. This doesn't, that's when you know what to know. Lo, we are Okay. Do you see? <laughs> All right. Or Mkambe, Ubona Manza Maningi. If Ubona Manza Maningi, Kushuguti, Imimoya Yako, or Yesindao. Okay. But, uh, but then in Yanga Yaku, you know, um, Zoglapa and Westmoon. You're like, no, 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 no. no. Aksa 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 yes. do, do you see? Yeah. So, this is your best piece of equipment that you can This This is very important. Yeah. Bef you need to do this maybe six or seven times before going to see a healer. Okay. But does it mean, Uguti, Uma saying, Patlila, whether it's the three days, the seven days, probably, Sekfani mm. Linghambe, Ngyosol? Or can I just be content with the messages that I've received from Mabadala mm. or Mangbak Elang is Katsopat? So you can be content with this in the sense that if you know that kum kum, they both say they're both standing, all right? Yes. That means you know there's a surname issue. You can go back and home. Oh, okay. It's Ma, Ma, Bab. How were you guys married? Yes. How did I get my surname? Okay. Gokum Kul. Yeah. Then you can know what okay, fine, Gushuti. There was an incorrect surname, mm -hmm. okay. and then you consult our content and our literature and that Umsamo makes available. Yeah. And, and, and you can help yourself. Many people have helped themselves with this process without us actually ever intervening. That's very interesting. What's also interesting, Sia, is the fact that you speak of these two white candles and a bowl of water. Mm. You made no mention of Impepo. 
Yes, <laughs> impepo is, is so sacred in that not everyone unga shisim awazu shisim pepo ubabwa ku usapil. Impepo umuntu that can shi awazu shisim pepo apaching impepo is unomza no se kai. Okay. Um, if it's not my father, it's going to be my uncle. If it's not my uncle, it's going to be my great grandfather. If my grandfather's not around, then it's going to be my eldest brother. If it's not my eldest brother, it's going to be my other eldest brother. If mm -hmm. it's not him, then it's me. If it's not me, then it's going to be my mother. Okay. And even when Uma Uyapa she must say to the ancestor, Guti, I am only doing this out of the situation that we have no um, males around or we have no um, Mm -hmm. um, male figures to, to actually conduct this process. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it's, it's grossly inappropriate that I'm this trend of yes. high school kids about she's in people. Yeah. A, you're not getting answers and things end up worse than they were in the first place. Sure. Because you are not supposed to and also because in people comes in three forms. Mm -hmm. Very few people know how to identify the three, the differences between yeah. the three. Yeah. And that's why, and le, these two here, are especially reserved for people. That we can use as commoners, but even then, mm. um, so what, what people are doing is they don't know how to identify which one to buy, or wherever the place yeah. may be. But they also don't know... Um, they, so you could be using the wrong impepo, and on top of that, you shouldn't be actually So how do I identify the three types of, of impepo? Mm. And then how do I know what sure. so it's, it's, it's difficult to describe without me actually having them here with okay. you. Okay. But the, the reason, but that's why we, we keep it very simple and we tell to people, we tell people just use this process. Mm -hmm. You can use a sniff, you can put in two one rand coins um, in the water. In the water. Okay. Um, but the thing is, if you're in England or you're in Australia, to get a sniff, to get um, uh, vodka or to get access to those in airport is not going to be easy. Yes. So this is the simple way that anybody Black, white, Indian, anybody can do this particular process. Mm. You don't anywhere in the world. And if this doesn't work and you can't necessarily get candles or your buildings, yeah. with the rules, you can go um, to the ocean and do it. In the sense that you put in your two one rand coins. I'm yeah. not sure what, what, whatever, to find the equivalent if you're in another country mm -hmm. of two one rand coins. Okay. And you throw them in and then you, you call upon your ancestors. What's the significance of that? Is it an invitation? Yeah, it is because, so it, it's equivalent to having water in the bowl here. Mm -hmm. So you would step into the ocean, but not so far that um, you drown, just so that the water just touches your feet. Okay. And then you'd call upon your ancestors yeah. asking for clarity and guidance. Yeah. Um, Asiya, thank you very much for all of this information. I'm sure there's a lot that we could go into, but there's still next week, Tuesday, we'll go in depth with all of this other information. Thank you very much. Thank you very I really much. appreciate it. CEM Kiza Kavazele joining us today on the morning show. Kulumango Patha and the significance of Ukpatha, who can do it and why it is done. We leave that conversation here on.